First off, Bill and I wish that we could be there for the celebration of life for my brother, Mark Waddell. When I speak in public, I often talk about our parents, James Redmond Waddell and Mary Elizabeth Rogers Waddell. I mentioned that she passed away in 1956. So the story goes, when I was a little over two years old, our mother Mary went to Lord's France to pray for me because I was never supposed to be able to walk or talk. But she did not go just to pray for me. She went to pray for Brother Bob, Tom, and Mark, and my dad, and other loved ones that she cared about. She came back on Good Friday, I mean, a few days before Good Friday, and she passed away on Good Friday. A year later, my dad married Joy Mabbitt Murphy Waddell, the sweetest woman on the planet. She helped care for my mother when she was sick. She had a daughter, Carolyn, and two sons, Tim and Jim. Then our parents had two sons and a daughter of their own, Bill, Rick, and Sue. We became his, hers, and ours. The Waddells and the Wurf Murphys, we may have uh, different family names, but we're all one family, and we all consider ourselves brothers and sisters. Mark was a little bit than two years older than me, and we were roommates for 16 years. I always wanted to be like Mark. If I didn't have cerebral palsy, I would have competed against him playing games like basketball and trying out for the same parts and plays. Because of it, I was four years behind him in school rather than two years. I am a music freak, and music is my heart and soul. I would give you a sample, but we want people to stay in the service, not run out of it right now. Mark, or my family, never made fun of me, and they always gave me encouragement. My cerebral palsy was never made an issue. I don't, I didn't start speaking in public till I was about 10 years old, 10 years ago, until I was about 50 years old. When I started, I would be nervous and think of my brother Mark, and that would help me. I still do it today when I'm on stage or when I make a video. Brother Mark loved Joellen and their two sons and his, and his family over the last 40 years, they meant the world to him. I never heard him complain about marriage or his family once. He loved his grandchildren, Colin and Cooper, and Connor's wife, Carrie. He also loved Sam, his other son, wife, Mata, and they haven't had children yet, but someday they will know of their grandfather through Sam. I imagine in my mind that Mark and my soul will meet on another plane someday. I don't care if it can't be proven by science or other people don't feel the same as me, because it really doesn't matter. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, life is but a dream. Remember when we learned that as kids? In some ways, faith is like that. Mark and I, we will meet, Mark and I, you and Dad, and both our moms, please meet me at the music cafe in the future. Yeah, tell them we will go hear Frank Sinatra and the Mills Brothers. Then you and I can hook up with Jeff Wackles and check out Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix. You can take me to see the latest plays. On a soul level, we can do anything. It's all part of my imagination, but who says it can't be true? Perceptions and Attitudes Daily For the last 60 years of my life, 
the right and the left have been arguing daily. That just bores me and frustrates me. Religious people tell you and I the right path that we should follow, and that just bores me. Freedom of thought and choice, we all choose our path that is right for us in this life. No need to argue about it. Mark was a great teacher, and a great teacher does not tell his students what to think, but he teaches them to think for themselves. Mark would want us to celebrate life when we think about him, not feel sad. Enjoy tonight, and in his honor I am there in spirit. I will miss Mark the rest of my life, but I know he does not want me or you to be bummed out, bummed out about it forever. I was lucky to have you as my brother. The best way to honor his legacy is to live our lives to the max in his honor. Whenever I speak, I talk about my parents or my brothers or sisters. Too many people, when they speak publicly about issues, all they do is complain. And we should be thankful for what we have. And in our case, we have a great family. And I always try to honor that. And I always will. And try to honor Mark as long as I live. Thank you. Peace and love.